Hi guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today we're going to go over upper respiratory infections in the kitty. We're going to go over three steps today. What the pet owner sees regarding upper respiratory infections at home, what I do to diagnose it at the veterinary clinic, and how to go about treating them. What the pet owner sees at home is usually green discharge, maybe from the eyes or from the nose, or they see a lot of sneezing or they hear a lot of sneezing. That is all upper respiratory. We're talking eyes, nose, you know, anything outside of the chest. Most upper respiratory infections in the cat are caused by a primary viral infection with a secondary bacterial infection. The viral infection can be transmitted between cats in large populations like at a shelter or, you know, maybe a, a, a big group housing situation. Or you can also get them when a cat's really stressed. When a cat gets stressed, some viruses can really cause some problems. I know, how do cats get stressed? They live amazing lives. They just, they just hang out and do nothing all day. But cats get stressed really easily. And when a cat gets stressed, they can get a viral infection. In most cases, viral infections are just a clear discharge. Bacterial infections get the color discharge. The viral infection sets the framework for the secondary bacterial infection to set up shop and cause problems. A lot of these kitties tend to do pretty good still. They're eating and drinking and they're relatively normal with the exception of having an upper respiratory infection. So when the pet owner rolls in, I have one look as well. I can see the same thing the pet owner saw. Green discharge from the eyes, nasal discharge, sneezing, really mucusy. Now if a veterinarian notices or hears anything going on in the chest, like a pneumonia, they'll take an x-ray. Or if the kitty cat's not doing well or they're lethargic, then there'll probably be some blood work too. In some cases, these upper respiratory infections can become more chronic or long term. In those cases, if a veterinarian notices a pet owner keeps coming back for the same problem, they will probably do some sort of culture or PCR to help diagnose what's causing the long term upper respiratory infection. The good news is most upper respiratory infections are short term. We get stressed or we're exposed to something. We treat it and we get better. Now, if it's just an upper respiratory infection and the cat appears to be doing great on the physical exam, this is pretty straightforward. The veterinarian may just do an antibiotic. Now, the antibiotic's gonna clean up the secondary infection, but if you have a primary infection, that may linger for a little bit. So even though you get rid of the green discharge, you may have some sneezing or clear discharge that kind of plays out for a little bit of time. 